Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Rainbow Islands on the Commodore Amiga, released by Ocean in 1990, maybe 1989, and released in the arcades by Tato in 1987. If you watch my channel, you'll need no explanation of what this game is. Uh, it's made by Craft Gold, as you can see, so developed by Craft Gold, but released by Ocean, and it was ported to everything. Amiga, Taurus Spectrum, Amstrad, Commodore. Uh, there's a Mega Drive port, there's a Master System port, there's a NES port. Not all of those are necessarily done by Ocean, but I have gameplays of a whole bunch of them. I also have a gameplay comparison of the Mega Drive versus the, uh, the arcade machine. Never played this one before, so I thought I would give it a go. Obviously, you play, uh, because it's a sequel to Bubble Bubble, and you play Bub in Bob, but you are in their human forms. I have no idea what the deal is with that. I'm sure someone's told me many, many times before when I've, um, you know, mentioned it in the videos. Because, like I said, I've played this on everything. So, by all means, tell me again. I don't think, uh, you can correct me on this, that there is actually a bad port of this. But you would hope that the Amiga could be pretty damn close to doing Arcade Perfect. Because let's be honest, even for 1987, it's not like the machine was, you know, running on plutonium or something. But that doesn't stop it from being, you know, good and, and a classic. Because obviously there was something about Tato's, you know, cutesy, you know, graphic style and formula to these games. Games such as Bubble Bubble and New Zealand Story. Now, yeah, you play the human versions as one or two simultaneous player, and you play the human versions, and you have to travel across a bunch of islands, pay attention... Well, I'm not going to get past level one, I'm pretty sure of it. But there are nods and Easter eggs to a whole bunch of other Tato games in this, such as when you get to a certain island, there's nods to Arkanoid, and there's nods to Space Invaders. And you start at the bottom, and you have to get to the top, using your rainbows to either destroy enemies and collecting, like, you know, <clears throat> the sweets, chocolate fruit that they drop or you can um, use your jump uh, as well as your rainbows to progress to the top of the screen complete it while you have to beat the rising tide hence that on the title screen there uh, and when you get to the top of a certain number of levels then you face, face a boss battle that despite being overwhelmingly cute <clears throat> his balls are horrifically hard let's get into this how do i put money in I haven't played this that's money that's all the money I can afford, apparently, in 1990. That starts. Ward 1, Insect Island. Guess what a theme is? That's right, it's Arkanoid. <laughs> right, so there I am. Rainbow, rainbow. Jump. If you jump on your rainbows, um, you destroy a child's dreams. They, uh, oh, there we go. They shatter. But you can use your jump, so you can play it as a traditional platformer. You're not supposed to, because you get points and scores and bonuses because you can upgrade your your rainbows to like shit not shit wicked levels of death and destruction but i always find it weird that you've got to get in the zone and kind of get a momentum going to get the best out of your rainbows awkward pauses look at this my god his cholesterol must be through the roof and why is he not a fat bastard and where's the bird this feather came from it looks Oh shit, I was supposed to press rainbow. It looks pretty close to the arcade, to me. It looks pretty close. Well, the thing is, with all the 16 bits, once you get to a certain point with these machines, um, when the arcade is, I, would I say as simple as this? Because that's not fair. Um, ooh, there you go. They all have a decent chance of doing, you know, pretty decent spanker Rooney ports. This looks a part. Shame I can't play the part. Right, time. Yeah, well, I shouldn't, should I? Also, how disturbing is it? Look at all the insects with their weird, cutesy heads. I'm, ki I'm clearly killing animals who are self-aware. I'm a bastard. All they're doing is living on their island. Although, I guess you could argue, to some degree, I'm doing them a favour. Because they're all going to drown. <laughs> if you think about it. You think about it. A lot of these cutesy, cutesy games 
are loaded with death. I mean, look at New Zealand story. Oh, these rainbow upgrades. Well, that was a smart bomb. But well, that had a range, didn't it? Yoink. That's another child's dreams shattered. I care not. I am a death spitting machine. Right, so what's that? Two stages? Yeah, I struggle. I've only ever got past stage one box a couple of times. Um, I'm assuming all the candy and shit like that is to. I saw you. I was just going to say, will you die already? This is my new pensive. Oh, fuck. They're exploring. Pensive way of exploring. But, um, yeah, to, for one-ups and stuff like that. Well, this is a bit titch frisky, isn't it? Or, otherwise known as, Dave's a bit shit. There we go, fire. So at least you start... Well, you still start the bomb, which, to be fair, you would expect. I want that. There you go. I've got double rainbows. Ooh. And you can get triple rainbows, then you're rainbowed to the max. You're like skittles on acid. See what I did there? I'm taking it the pussy route. Does everything stay dead? From what? I've killed this far down. Oh, check it out. Right, if you shoot the rainbows, everyone gets free skills. Uh, ooh! Then it's the same as touching them. That sounded awkward. Don't touch the rainbows. Shoot them. I don't like these ones that move. I'm guessing that's the point. Who would have thought that... A... Why is he still alive? It's such an effective weapon. Right. Two hits! Oh! Right, it's uh, we're going in the drink. Fuck it! I'm off with this. The controls are pretty tight. Maybe it's my D-pad. I'm blaming. I'm gonna blame my D-pad. There we go. See, I've watched people play it and they just ride the rainbows. Again, that's like everything in this game when I mention the word rainbow sounds awkward. I am very much aware of that. But I just struggle with it in every version. But hey, just because I'm shite at it doesn't mean I can't enjoy it. Ooh, thank you. Fuck it. That's the range of your jump that bites you in the ass there. But then you should be aware of that because the whole point of this is avoid the adversaries. How many can, Oh, we've got one continue left. Well, I'm going to say, off the bat, I think this is a fantastic port. I think Craft Gold did an excellent job. You would hope so, because they have pedigree. Why did I pick up something that looked like a used jock? I don't like these ones that follow me. I'm assuming you're not really supposed to like them, are you? Yeah! Get some of that in your life. Boss! I'm fudged. Of course. If you've got a bunch of... I have got double rainbows. There we go. Ooh! New. Come on. Move. Move. Hey. Well, that's a new one for me. Look at the size of that. Someone's gonna have to let out my pants. Ah, the 80s when everyone wasn't obsessed with telling you what you can and can't eat. And guess what? 
Loads of us still never got fat. World 2, Combat Island. So everyone, everyone packing. They're little military vehicles. I mean, look at them, Marge. Look at them. Hey, I kept my double bows. Oh, they got they are packing. Shit. I was going to say, but so am I. But I've just lost my double bows. This is an awesome port. It's just a shame I'm shit at it, so I can't show you more. Should have just done that, shouldn't I? Should have gone to spec savers, clearly. No! See? They don't just stay on. Look how pissed off he is! They're all pissed off! War! Shit! Yeah, makes people angry apparently. Agitated, if you will. Right, oh, and shit, the drip. See what I mean? I know I'm shit at it, but. Make no mistake about it. It tanks shit up properly. So, what is it? Three stages per island. So, if you do the maths, that's a chunk of shit, isn't it? I think. They're going to fall? No, they're not going to fall off. He's going to come down, though, isn't he? Ha! Ooh, does my rainbow destroy his war tech? That's a metaphor for something, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> Before everyone starts going, love overcomes everything. No, it doesn't. Ooh, carrots. Because, you know, we've been eating shit so far. I've got double bows, but it started getting really hard really quickly. Awkward. I don't know what happened to my bows then, though. This is an awesome port, obviously. Put a bit of practice into it. I don't know what the flowers do. Why are they blurring their flowers? Or military land or island or whatever it is. I'm on rank seven. It's probably the best I've ever done. Hey, remembers what you took. Oh, shake harder, boy. Game over. Rainbow Islands on the Commodore Amiga, released by Ocean in 1990, developed by Craft Gold, a sequel, a home conversion of the arcade machine, released by Tato in 1987. It's a really, really nice port, but pretty much like every version of Rainbow Islands, I'm shite at it. But, hey, that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy it just because you're a bit shit at it. Anyway, as always, I still had a credit there, bollocks. As always, I'd love to know what I think, especially if you played this back in the day. And why have I got a nagging memory that this was in one of the ocean, included in one of the ocean Amiga packs? I don't know, never mind. It's probably, probably confusing it with a compilation. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.